the National Football League on EA Sports. And we've got the Seahawks' leader at quarterback. He's been sensational as he leads the league in touchdown passes. It's the Seahawks and the Jets. All that and more coming up next. With the beautiful Puget Sound just to our west, you get a look inside Lumen Field here in Seattle, Washington. Coming up, we've got a good matchup on tap between the New York Jets and the Seattle Seahawks. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you look at this Seahawks team as they get ready here. It's been a good season for them so far. They're just looking to keep that momentum going forward. They like their record. Now they want to increase it. A win here could really get the momentum going in the right direction. Meanwhile, for the visiting Jets, they come in feeling good after back-to-back -back victories. So out come the Seahawks now for their first possession. And trotting out there, a guy who's established himself as a veteran in this league, now in his fifth year at quarterback. And he just continues to throw touchdown pass after touchdown pass, leading the league here down the final stretch of the year. Guys will say that the numbers and the rankings, they don't matter to him very much, but I don't know how much I actually believe that. Sure, he's team first, but I think everyone would like to see him finish number one, including himself. This is the Oklahoma State alum, Chris Carson. That's about as exciting of a one-yard run as you're going to see. Finding a way to dodge that first would-be tackler, but again, just one yard out of it. These are his numbers from last week's contest. A boatload of carries, 120 yards even. One thing I do know, teams in the NFL don't treat this like a pitcher throwing a no-hitter. It's been mentioned all week long about going out and getting him the rushing title. He'll see the ball, and he'll see it often. Dances by him. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 10 yards and a Seattle first down. The Seahawks at 14 and 1 now on the year. And I tell you, it has been a few months now since they've tasted defeat, and they are without question the hottest team in football. And I'm really not sure who's going to beat them right now because to me, they have to be the favorites to go all the way because they're not just beating teams, they're dominating them. It's been fun to watch them play, not just in their winning, but how they're getting it done. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They stay on the ground again. It's Carson. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. This defense for the Jets, they were very good in the win last week against Jacksonville. Yeah, what stood out to me on tape, the way they were flying to the football. So that tells me that they've got all their assignments down and they're playing with extreme confidence. Now a man open down the middle of the field. And they'll get this down the line for a seven yard line. his own coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come over. It's a right on him, and they pick up a first down. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 47. Now it's Carson. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Sometimes it's a danger putting that jumbo set out there. You just get a lot of bodies massed in one location. You could wind up with 18, 20, maybe even all 22 in the box, and there's nowhere to run the football. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Quick throw, and that's Eskridge on the slant. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. Slam route's effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball. But when you have a receiver of that stature, you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. You don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. It's been a seven-play opening drive, and this is third and short. Here's Carson. It past the 30, almost to the 25. 
11 yards there and a first down for Seattle. He was solid last week, over 100 yards in their victory on the ground. They want to get that going again. Absolutely. What they also understand is that from week to week, it's not necessarily the same, but they want it to be, right? What they saw last week on the ground, they want to see in this game as well. Intercepted. Not a good throw there. Nearly an opening drive. INT. This is Carson. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Third down, Brown. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker, and his early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door, first and goal. They run it with Carson. And he will not be denied into the end zone. Touchdown, Seahawks. Chris Carson, his 16th rushing touchdown on the year. And the Seahawks get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. Uh, first quarter, maybe too early to talk about statement drives, Charles, but that sure seemed like a statement drive right there. Well, if we're going to talk about statement drives, I think what they're saying is we're going to establish the run. They gave it to him early and often on this drive, and he wound up taking it into the end zone. Probably not the first, but all of us at EA Sports certainly want to wish you and yours a happy and prosperous new year. And as a celebration of that, a big slate of NFL games on this Sunday, week 17. Second to last weekend with the NFL docket. Later tonight, the battle for Los Angeles, Rams and Chargers, 515 Pacific at SoFi. And then on Monday night, Charles and I are on to Cincinnati. Bills and Bengals, two cold weather teams in what will be a frigid Paul Brown Stadium. And this will be a Seahawks first down as the tackle made at the 35-yard line. His first carry of their second drive, pretty solid. And, of course, remember back to their first drive, really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? He's seeing things before they even open and hurdling through them. to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Off the play fake. Brown looking deep for Hilton. And he fires one that's intercepted. LaMarcus Joyner with a pick. And the Jets are going to take possession of the football. When you're in man coverage, you have help over the top, you become a much more confident defender. Trail the receiver and know that someone over the top can make a play, and that's exactly what happened here. The free safety coming up with the interception. different after throwing the interception on the last drive and giving up the field goal they're working from behind here first and ten
They'll start out on the ground with Carson. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Not a huge carry there on first down, but not all of them will be. But still, all in all, a positive play for the offense. It's all about picking up at least a few to set up what you're going to do here on second down. Now this is Hilton on the receiving end. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It's a gain of 13 for number 13, and it gives him a first down. Now that was pretty. They executed that core route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, sharply run route. Against zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. And some good acceleration there as he's across midfield to the 48 yard line. 59 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. Jet territory now. Here's first and ten at the 48-yard line. They run again with Carson. And a pretty good burst right there as he'll take this down to the 33. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. I'm not sure how much more evidence they need, partner, than to understand that if they don't start to slow him down, it's going to be a long afternoon here at the stadium because he is just shredding them at this point. And let's face it, coming into the game, they knew he would be the focal point of their attack. This is going to take an 11-man unit on the defensive side to start making plays. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll keep it on the ground. Carson, and he's gonna take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. On the right side, it's Hilton with a catch. And that's gonna be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets 18. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh shot of downs. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Up the middle they go. It's Carson, and he'll get about three as he's taken down at the 14-yard line. Coming up on second and seven. Now a handoff up the middle. Carson, and he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Touchdown! Tyler Lockett, his 19th touchdown now of the season. And they are able to add on to their advantage. The catch and the touchdown. They were the end result of a terrific route run by the receiver. Out is their quarterback with this offense to take over once more. He threw a touchdown pass last time they had it. And they look to get him in the end zone again here as they start with the first down. Throwing to 
start the drive. Brown. That's caught over the middle by Fant. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. So we've come upon halftime here in week 17 as we send you cross country to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman is there and has our EA Sports halftime report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Happy New Year, everybody. Welcome into our EA Sports halftime report. It's a busy week 17 of the regular season, so let's get right to it. We'll start our tour in the entertainment capital of the world, Las Vegas, Nevada. And it's the Raiders who have the lead in that one. A touchdown pass there for Derek Carr. From there, we'll take the trip east to Wisconsin to check on the Packers at home at Lambeau. And they have the lead in that one over the visiting Minnesota Vikings. Aaron Rodgers, a touchdown pass there. Finally, we're off to Atlanta to check on the Falcons at home at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. And they were losers in that one to the visiting Arizona Cardinals. Kyler Murray, excellent in the victory as it's one that pushes his guys two games above 500. On now to a look at the next-gen stats for the Jets in that first half, and they weren't able to get a whole lot done throwing the football. That'll likely be a big key if they want to turn things around in the second half. Meanwhile, for the Seahawks, we check out their numbers on the ground as they'll try to keep the momentum going into the second half. Here comes the Seahawks offensive unit. They'll have it first to begin the third. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively, just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to how did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. Territory now. Here's first and ten at the 47. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Carson. Well, I guess that's one way to slow him down. Try to grab him by the face mask. Well, nothing else seems to have worked because he's certainly had his way running the football in this one. So the penalty yards marched off on the face mask. Here's first and ten. Up the middle they go. Carson. And only a yard this time as he's taken down right around the 26. Here's second and nine. Just a yard on that last run. Looking to throw. Brown. Oh, that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Now, whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Operating from the gun, Brown. And this is a quick slant to lock it. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 15-yard line. 11 yards there as they connect on the quick slant. That's the number two receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage. And tell you what, a few more plays like that, he won't be number two for long. But well, that's what often happens when you have competitors running around the field. These guys know where they stand in relationship to yardage, totals, numbers, the whole deal. And let's face it, all of them, they all want to be number one. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Check, check. 
Now a handoff up the middle. It's Carson. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take him in short, steady bursts. And he finds Lockett in the end zone. Touchdown, Seattle. A great play there. With touchdown number 20 on the year, as his guys are able to extend their lead. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is let you feel like you're in control of this game, even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because you've taken that time off, as you noted, which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense... He's been sensational all year. He threw touchdown pass number 45 the last time they had it. Let's see if he can build on that number here. It's first and 10. Here we go, here we go. Reno, Reno. Here's a handoff to Carson to begin the drive. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 124 yards rushing now for the NFL leader coming into this ball game. For a lot of guys playing this game, there's no better feeling than running right through a tackle. He's able to lower center of gravity and churn his legs for a really nice pickup. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They'll keep it on the ground. Carson, and space tough to come by there as he'll get maybe a yard to the 37. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing club was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carry before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. They'll run on first down. It's Carson, and they'll get him down here at about the 42. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up, but not what you want to see this late in the season. Medical staff is going to check on him, and we'll step aside for a moment. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. Up the middle they go. Carson, and he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. But he's certainly going to get it to the here because they're playing this game now on their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Taken down at the 30. A gain of three, second down. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Seattle, Washington. It's the Seahawks with the possession. They also have the lead here as we get set for the fourth and final quarter. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Now a handoff up the middle. Carson. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. 
Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. And, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. That one good for seven as this long drive continues and the chains move again. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Up the middle they go. It's Carson. And all the way down inside the five to the four. 164 yards rushing for him in this one. And he is drawing ever closer to a 2,000 yard season. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you got to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. And some oohs and ahs from the crowd as he jukes his way forward for a couple of yards. All of a sudden, those lanes that were there earlier in the drive dry up near the goal line. That's a good job defensively to diagnose the run and stop it for a very short pickup. Carson diving for the end zone, and he'll get there. Touchdown. 15-point game now. You make the extra point, and that means on the other side you need two touchdowns and two two-point conversions. That's a pretty tall order here in the fourth quarter. Agreed, because they really needed to come up with a stop there, and even if it was just to hold them to a field goal, now they need to pull out the lucky horseshoe because they've got to get an onside kick, and we've seen nowadays those are incredibly difficult to come by. And not to mention they've got to get the touchdown and a two-point conversion first. The Seahawks offense staying put out on the field. They're going to go for two. They'll look to throw. And he's got it. So the two-point conversion is good. And they add on to their fourth quarter lead. And a stoppage here. We're going to need to take a moment as a jet was shaken up on that one. Always unfortunate to see an injury, especially this close to the end of the regular season. We'll step aside. Seattle again getting ready to take over offensively. If they can score here, they have a chance to make this a three-possession game and all but put things to bed. They'll run on first down. Carson. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Carson. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. They get 17 on that one, move the chains, first down Seahawks. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with, and throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to, and it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Now a handoff up the middle. Carson. And just a couple yards there down to the 17. 
Able to stay in bounds, and the clock keeps rolling. And this defense right now backed up in the red zone. Another touchdown, it's over. They've got to stand tall quickly. Been in this spot before. Now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in. And all you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is first guy there, hold him up. Second, third guy in, break it the football. Get it out. We've got to create a turnover because one more score, and this game's over. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Seahawk football as we march toward a conclusion. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. Finish it! They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Back to throw. Brown. This will be caught at about the five. Touchdown, Seahawks. Tyler Lockett, a 14-yard touchdown. And the Seahawks are an extra point away from making this a three-score game. What a huge touchdown that was, obviously, here in the late stages of the fourth quarter as they try to put this one away. And, Brandon, when they watch the film after this week, they'll be very proud of every rep if they close this game out. Just a few snaps remaining. They can't relax just yet. And the Seahawks get ready to trot out on the field. And three timeouts remaining here defensively, but really not much reason to use them at this point as this one is all but over. If they use the timeouts here, it's strictly for show. We got a plane to catch. On first down, it's Carson. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 14 seconds to go in the game. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. They'll keep it on the ground. Carson. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. And one of the whistles for a timeout. So they'll stop the clock here in a game that's been decided in the closing seconds. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Up the middle they go. It's Carson, and he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And now with six seconds remaining, they're going to burn their final timeout. The Seahawks in victory formation as they go ahead and take the knee. Well, this was a very close ball game at halftime, Charles, but in the second half, that offense kind of kicked things into another gear, and they were able to pull away for the victory. Well, Brandon, I think they're the type of team that just looked at the mirror and said, hey, ton of pressure on, but we're the type of team that can flat out and handle it. They stood up, stood up with confidence, and made it happen for a victory. So for the Seahawks, they move to a sparkling 15-1 with one game still to go in the regular season. 